I know he's crazy with this character. We'll see though. This is this is gonna be interesting. Good Mewtwo versus really good Falcon. In Winter Simmons, best of five. Can't say I've seen this matchup that much, if ever. <laughs> Let's see. So we got like a like a, a crazy like you know momentum based like combo Falcon, and then you got Wadu who's just able to play neutral really really well and kind of like slow opponents down. That play that type of style really well. You know you can get that started. So it's it's interesting to watch what will happen here, in my yeah. opinion. Great use of Shadow Ball just to set up an opportunity to go for the grab. Wadi on the low recovery comes back on the stage. Excellent down to misses the forward air conversion there. Andrick definitely knew that was not going to be true and then did not hesitate to go for the spot dodge. What a read! What a read! Yo, that was sick. Double jab, jump back to get the roll to me? What? What kind of read? Yo, this oh. man just got the combo off the Raptor boost. Yeah, that Raptor boost buff was super good for Falcon. These rolling reads are looking very, very good for Andrick right now. He's getting some hard punishes. Kind of what I expected on Mewtwo. He's at that perfect size and weight to just get eaten up by these Falcon combos. Yeah, he's relatively yeah. light, so you can definitely finish off Mewtwo at a really good opportunity, but the up throw will be the equalizer here. Wadi with a space to breathe. If I were Wadi, man, I'd start looking at how to slow down this Falcon, because any speed and momentum and space he has to move around like he does now could spell certain death, especially at 98%. Yep. I mean, that's that's the plan for, for Wadi right now. That's why you see the Shadow Balls are coming out. He's at the other side of the stage. He's really trying to pick his spots carefully and uh, not let Andrick overwhelm him with the Falcon pressure. Okay, got the ledge now. Yeah, he delayed his recovery. Didn't want to get down here through the stage. It's actually not hard to hit tough with recoveries like that either, especially with Falcon. But great stuff. Great stuff with the back here. Andrick looking good right now. There's the oh, Raptor boost. Ooh. Nice empty hop to go for the grab, too. He yeah. kind of wanted to bait out the attack. If, uh, yeah, yeah. You want to see if you get a bait defensive option from Wadi instead of a melee comboing with something. Yep. You Sometimes always want to be your If you can bait an air dodge, you can get a harder punish than like going for like a guarantee. Nice, nice catch. So I'm going to roll in with that Shadow Ball again. Wadi's been pretty good at catching that ledge option for kills. Nice. Oh, Able to kind of dash dance a little bit and get the forward air. No, I'm sorry, forward throw. Mm. Yeah, Mewtwo has some really good dash too. So if he chooses to play in that mid range, kind of like do some dash dancing, he can bait some things out. So gotta watch out for that tail hurt box though. <laughs> Sometimes you dash away and then they just hit your tail. Oh, oh. why do you go for it all? I respect it though. That low recovery could have gotten destroyed if you got that to hit. Yeah, okay. Wadi's gotta be careful though. He's at 104. Andrew gets one opportunity at the ledge. But then curtains, Wadi with a little bit of patience, neutral air, not even the first hit is enough for the for, for the forward air. Yeah, he just didn't get the right hit for the near one to work. Oh, the oh, didn't on the down throw. Okay. Up there? No, okay, Wadi. nice. A lot of pressure at the ledge. Oh, the confusion! Mm. No, he doesn't jump into it. Why do you go for a hard read? He wanted that okay. smash as a call out too, because he put so much pressure on Andrix to try to force him to jump. Yeah, but Andrix not falling for that. Big dash attack doesn't get the kill. Oh my god, he went so deep off stage. And then the Shadow Ball sniped to come back. This is the craziest last stock ever. Yeah, 143 to 139. They both have a kill throw. They, they, both, have kill. they, don't. they both have a kill. I was talking about Mewtwo, not Falcon. But yeah, Falcons will throw kills too. Oh man. Oh man, what a first game. That was crazy. What a first game indeed. Honestly, that was good too because you can tell how pressured Wadi felt. Every time Wadi landed, he either had to go for a roll to get away from Falcon or he had to hold shield just to avoid getting hit by Raptor Boost or Nair 1. And then at that opportunity, Andrew just took advantage of that. Goes for the up throw after a few pummels and they called it game. Especially with Mewtwo's relatively lightweight and tall hurtbox. It's pretty tough. It's like you said, right, Stry? It's like you have to worry about your tail hitbox. You have to worry about your height. And then you have to worry about your actual weight. Those are three factors that make it really rough for Mewtwo. Especially with a character that has such an explosive speed, damage, and confirms off a lot of his moves. That's Captain Falcon. It's, uh, it's a pretty interesting one. But I did like how Wadi is able to slow down the pace. Use Shadow Ball a little bit. Try to play the neutral as much as possible. And then see if you can bait out Andric to go for anything like a jump out of the ledge or jump out of shield. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, the thing about fighting a good Falcon a lot of times is uh, trying to see the pace they like to play at, and usually it's like very aggressive, fast paced uh, pace, and then trying to just disrupt that as much as possible. So especially when you're playing a character like Mewtwo that's so yeah. light. And someone in the chat, oh, oh we'll the drag down. Day. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> We're taking that drag down there out of the jump all day. We need man. these early stocks I mean, if, you're, need... if you're Wadi. <laughs> all I'm saying, man, is Wadi from the stimulus check early. He said mine came in direct deposit. It's already <laughs> in the bank. I never had to wait for the mail to come in. So far, man, Wadi's using a lot of confusion. It's working as you know, a way to just disrupt uh, Andrix's approach, but he, he can't get an immediate follow up out of it. Andrix just spot or air dodging or jumping out of it every time. Still pretty good to go for, though. Yeah, good for him to continuously use Shadow Ball. Look at that opportunity that he has against Andrix. Like, Andrix has to respect that because he knows the cooldown is good enough for Wadi to come in with a forwarder like so and then slowly put pressure. He goes for a little bit of a low recovery. No advantage card from Andrix. But I like the fact that he keeps his feet planted onto the stage and no forward smash after that down throw read. I especially like the confusion on the tech chase situations because a lot of times they're just going to shield on the platform. You get that side B, throw him off a little bit, and then you can get a follow up from there most likely. But speaking of follow ups, that's the ultimate Falcon classic that near one, it's the knee. Really mm. consistent combo, but really consistent edge guard. Why no kidding, dude. Out the air dives, swinging that 10 foot long tail, <laughs> taking out Falcon. And oh, it's both his one? best weapon and his biggest demise here. What a great way to come back on the stage with a neutral air and he waits for the get up animation. What a play from Wadi. Ooh, that's a big great air. Great one combo! Okay, he's not dead, but dude, that was huge for Andrew. Yeah, you said it best, right? That was a great air one combo there. And that was almost enough to put Wadi to lose all of his efforts that he had from that one. No back oh. air. No jump? Nice mm. catch. Wadi used his double jump to try to get that back air to work. Andrew noticing that, turning things around. And now he has the opportunity to just swing this whole game because it's Falcon and Mewtwo can just get blown up. You can already see it. Andrew's trying his best to see if he can get these early kills to work. Oh, no punish on the up smash. <laughs> No punish indeed here. Wadi at 42. You know you got Falcon and Rage. You have to be a little more cautious. He can get you with the knee and it could be all for nothing. Definitely. And just sniping for these uh, up airs too on the platform. He gets that one opening. He can be terrible, but Wadi trying his best to make sure that does not happen right now. Ooh, nice what, a, catch, what a call nice out. Catch. What a call out. What a call out. Yep. So I'm grab that ledge twice. Didn't give him another chance to breathe. That down smash is actually so good for Mewtwo. I think that was another one of the buffs he received. Like they reduced the uh, ending lag of his down smash to where he can throw that huge hitbox out and uh, recover really quickly. But yeah, great, great catch from Wadi. Catching the re-grab, no invincibility on that. Yeah, and honestly, I saw somebody in chat say, you know, wow, I can't believe the Falcon that mashed one. That's the crazy thing about Falcon, man. It's not really mashing. He just has good buttons. This character actually has one of the best buttons in the game. It's crazy he can just get a lot of confirms off like back air, forward air, up air. It's ridiculous how he can go for a lot of these options, even after down air, grab, raptor boost. You know, yeah, Falcon just, also received really good buffs. Yeah, he has a too. lot of good buffs, dude, and the character just has good buttons. Honestly, that's that's what makes Falcon so scary in Ultimate, almost compared to Smash 4. He might have lost the dash grab that he was infamous for, but in return, he got a lot of really good buttons, especially after one of the latest patches that he had received. So we'll see, man. Yep. It's a best of five. Yeah, I want, it, it is a best of five, so let's see if Andrew starts abusing that up smash. <laughs> that was one of the craziest buffs he got, for sure. I, I don't even know, like, that move seems like you can just start throwing it out to bait things and then hit you with something else. And if it actually hits you, great. <laughs> You're probably going to explode. So far, though, pretty decent start for Andrew. Back on Battlefield 2. I think he actually really liked this stage. Um, he was able to DI really well towards the end of that last game. Like, he was getting hit by some crazy strong kill moves, and he was just, like, still living due to the uh, length of the stage, so. Oh, nice. Using that, using the air dodge to kind of move his hurtbox away from the blast zone. What a way for Wadi to come back on the stage. Yeah, he reached for that oh. invincibility. 
Good call out from Shadow Ball. But you mentioned it earlier, like the Shadow Ball has to like kind of go up and down. Yeah. Have a kind of inconsistent trajectory to hit the ledge like that. We kind exactly. of saw it right there. It's really, really weird how it bounces up and down, and you have to. It's really inconsistent, but it's good to just throw it out there. Wadi, too oh. low of an angle, and Andrik too high on the stage. Good enough for him to have this little bit of a lead, but Wadi quickly turns around. Man, that down throw, down throw is so good at the ledge because so many people are just naturally conditioned to hold in when they get thrown at the ledge. And if they do that, that's just perfect for Mewtwo to get that foyer to work. That was really good. It also helps that the down throw is pretty fast too, so unless they know that they're going to get down thrown, they uh, probably won't react in time. Yeah. Anyway, huge, huge stock right now for Wadi trying to close it out with that rogue disabled too. Would have definitely been enough to close out the stock if he can get that to work. Honestly, I would keep throwing out the disabled. It's like so good in this game. They actually have to block it from really far away to avoid getting uh, hit by that. Nice. I like a little bit of an empty hop, man. Just understands that, you know, I got center stage. I throw a shadow ball here. Andrik has to pick and choose an option afterwards. Andrik with a lot of stage control, though. Raptor boost up air. Nice. He tried to immediately confirm to a down air. Yeah. Talked about how Falcon's really, buttons are really good. He's really using the uh, less knockback of the Raptor boost buff to really sneak in some um, good follow ups if you can find them. But there's that back air at the ledge. Let's see how much Andrew can rack up right now. Ooh, with nice grab. tech chase. It's a good 30%, but there's the up smash. Falcon's actually super tall, so even though he didn't jump into that, it caught his standing animation. <laughs> That's the crazy for, thing uh, about Bandai. Bandai. Yeah, it's, it's the crazy thing about Bandai Namco. They really take into consideration a lot of things like her boxes and hitboxes. You even see it in their games like Tekken and Soul Calibur, but those things really matter. That was great. Okay. Still, though, really a ledge trapping already from Andrik. Honestly, Wadi needs to pull out a lot if he wants to take this game, in my opinion. Andrik, he's not even taking any risks right now. He knows. He just needs a good a good hit to take this right Ooh, now. Oh, nice. nice. Is that two frame? Yeah, that's, I wouldn't be surprised. It's really easy to hit uh, Toe for recovery with that. It's a two frame, but also, it's like you mentioned in Strider's this matchup, a thing about hitboxes and hurtboxes plays an even bigger factor because Mewtwo is so tall, his head actually sticks up when he goes for like those little opportunities that he did. And then unfortunately for Wadi, it was just tall enough that Andrew hit him with down tilt. Yeah. Maybe above the ledge? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Either way, it's hard to avoid that with Mewtwo if you space it correctly or if you don't. Nice, nice stuff. Andrik, man. This says like, going how I would hope it'll go. Like back and forth, both players playing amazing, both showing the tools of the character really well. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to game five, but uh, let's see, let's see what happens on uh, Wadi's counter pick. It would be hype though if uh, Andrik won this tournament. I think the last really high Falcon we saw that got really far was uh, Schoonier? Schoonier? Yeah, Schoonier was the last one we saw. Yeah, yeah. But he uh, wasn't able to take it over uh, Vinny G and I think Leon? I think he's also those two people. Yeah, I can't even remember last time I saw a Falcon player win a big online tournament. It might have just been uh, Andrik, actually. <laughs> All right, well, this game five opportunity may come to a oh. close or come to a possibility here because it's do or die for Wadi with Andrik on point. <laughs> the chat has me laughing because they're like, please, my points, just go rob Wadi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Wadi man. Wadi really wants to use this time of... Uh, Online to grind out his Mewtwo. He really likes his character. Honestly, more to him. More to him, man. Yeah. With the possibility of, you know, the, the vaccine and being able to come back to offline maybe sometime later in the year. It's a good time to grind up those characters. Yeah. I mean, even then, it's not even a guarantee that Wadi's Rob will actually be a win against Andrick. He's a really yeah. good player. <laughs> 
it goes to show that even if you can't wall him out, oh, what a Ooh. call out from the spot dodge. What a call out. Nice. See, the thing is, so since he's been air dodging out of that confusion so consistently, why well, he's like, okay, I, I can wait for this air dodge now and get a charge smash. That was really smart from him. Oh, nice down tilt into the fourth throw. That's a lot of damage. This is fourth throw. That's so much percent. Yuzu actually has a lot of moves that are just high damage. Like this. <laughs> Huge for Oh, no. Ooh, we'll take it. I think he yeah. scared him to air dodge there. He, he did, honestly. he did, he did. <laughs> Dude, why do, you have, why do you have two stocks now? Oh, nice pressure from the Shadow Ball. See, the thing about Shadow Ball now, since it has so much less impact, you can throw it out and then, like, dash behind it while they're trying to shield. You saw them just do that. Like, Shadow Ball, run in, down tilt. Down tilt hit, you got, like, a good string from that. Really, really cool stuff. Oh. Speaking of cool stuff, good, cool enough for Wadi to go for that landing neutral air. That kind of pretty much puts Andrik off the stage. Comes back with another neutral air here. A lot of control for here from Wadi. You're looking to see if he can catch the double jump, and he does with the neutral air yet again. Good pressure with the Shadow Ball, too. He sees where Andrik is. No crossing. Okay, Wadi. Wadi working on his three stock right now. Looking oh, most so definitely. good. Some people wanted the raw man, but why is he gonna let them know? No, no, no. This Mewtwo is just as good as my Rob. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not getting the confusion for it to work. I think I, I can't remember what percent, but at some percent, that's like a high percent. Confusion for it is actually true. Like you can't jump out of your air dodge it. But it doesn't matter. He just gets a raw for it there as soon as he respawns with invincibility. Just drop right on top of him with his six frame move. Scratch him out of here. We're going to game five. Yeah, game yeah, yeah. Five. Game five indeed, man. Roddy is able to clutch that out. Like I said, he's one of those players that like you have to he's got a really good rub. I respect the chat why they want to see it, but it's one of those things where like it makes sense that he kind of like sticks by this Mewtwo because he knows what he can do with the character and he just shows off what he can do. I think it's one of those things like if I can't win with Mewtwo. It'll definitely say a little bit about Rob because Rob also has projectiles. But hey, man, we'll, we'll see. I mean, Wadi Wadi puts this game five scenario for a good reason, and that Mewtwo definitely looking extra crisp so far in this new year. But Andrik, that man is not far behind, dude. It's kind of been back and forth between these two, but finally it's time to close the set, see who wins, because Andrik is definitely well aware of what he can do when he has enough space and opportunity to go up against Wadi and then use that to his uh, advantage. I don't know if the chat thinks I'm Rickles, but unfortunately, I hate to burst the bubble. I am not. <laughs> what? Why do these people think you're Rick? I don't know if they do. I, I'm reading it. I just Bro, like, I glanced. I, the names at the bottom. I, glanced at, I glanced at the chat, so I don't know if he's in the chat or what. I am sorry. I don't know. Bro, there's no way they think you're Rickles. I'm going to tell you right now. Anyway. Game five. What's what's uh what's Andrew's counter pick? He actually I think he's one on his counter pick every time. Am I correct? I yeah, he has. he has one. He has one. Okay, he's got Kalos. I like this stage just because it's a wall with Falcon. If he does get off stage and gets maybe like spiked or something like that, he can get that tech come back. Also has some really good wall jump uh, shenanigans he can get go for. Let's see though. Let's see who can. Close this out in game five. Both these guys been playing out of their mind pretty much. Oh, that near one. That's huge. Mm, yeah, try to get the platform huge. reset. Yeah, try to get the platform reset. See if you can base him now from Wadi. Didn't get it so far, but still, this is really, really good for Andrew right now. Starting to use that up smash and that, that Raptor, or sorry, that Falcon kick. That Falcon kick is actually really ridiculous now, by the way. But another snipe out of the double jump off stage. That's it. Really uh, unfortunate stock for Andrew to drop yet again. Why he's really been capitalizing in those situations. And he look at this string already, man. 27. Andrew was looking really oh, good. No, but, oh, no. Yeah, off stage he, plays, but yeah, he has the wall this time. Yeah. He doesn't really? use that wall jump. You mentioned it earlier how it's really good for a character like Falcon, especially when it comes to fighting YouTube. What a tough trade here. DBZ moment. Wally with the first feet on the ground. You know, he's got yeah. such a big lead. Oh man, he's getting desperate for these kills, trying to go for the up B command grab, but there's the dash tech finally, finally catching the dash back from Mewtwo to take the stock. He's gonna have to get a hard combo, Ooh, I think this what is a, start. What a sweet double back air too. 
chasing Wadi yep. all the way across the stage with a corner carry like that. Yep. He knows what he has to do to bring this back. Great dash into the grab. Wadi getting pressured a lot now. He hasn't gotten a solid hit on Andrew since Andrew respawned. <laughs> oh. Got the ledge again. Wadi's neutral get uh, neutral jump getting covered as well. Okay. Stinks in the upper. He's got some neutral position back on the stage. Opportunity to, you know, take the stock before Andrew can bring it all the way back. Yeah, Wadi's looking for that opportunity, oh. like you said. He's kind of hunting him down with a dash attack with a forwarder, but he hasn't found anything yet. Andrew, what stage control understand? What a great opportunity to go for side special just to stop him from going for a back air. But we talked about how big Mewtwo is. That down tilt is enough to send him at such a rough angle here. Andrew with 135. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this. Yeah, you're saying? You're saying? He keeps getting hit out of his jump on landing and getting yeah. down to it and dying. <laughs> it's like the third time it happened to him so far. Look, man, if I were in the chat, I'd be holding my channel points so close to my chest right now because you don't know who's going to take up this moment. We'll I don't know who's going to win this at all. It's good for Andrick, though. Let's see if he can bank off the rage. He already knows if he gets that rage hit on me too, it's going to be good, but. No more rage for you. That stock is gone. Use two up throw. Get some out of here. <gasps> no tech. Oh, missing the tech. Body. Oh, that's, that's crucial. That's crucial. Okay. Okay, he made it back up. <laughs> yeah. Shadow ball through the fourth row. <laughs> that, that, right. Marty is so probably so crucial. happy that Andrew missed the tech chase. Wait, he has to go off the deep end. He has to go off the deep end. What a good comeback from the upper, confirming that into a forwarder. He gets the stage to himself. Andrick switching spaces with the back air. He's got a lot of stage control here. Wadi looking to time that recovery enough to come back and slip through. But Andrick with a call on the dash tech. Strides, man. Wadi is holding on to his chest as much as the chat is holding on to the channel points. I don't know what's going to happen, but there's the deep nair catching the air dodge. Andrick actually used the platform to his benefit and just chased down Mewtwo so hard to close out that last stock. Oh my goodness. Andrick, he's going to winner's finals, but man, that set was crazy from both players. It could have gone either way. Most definitely.